Wouldn't it be great if that dream sports car you always wanted was, let's say, under 10 grand? Well, it's probably not. And you probably won't find one for under 10 grand because otherwise you would be buying the car instead of watching this video. But today I'm going to tell you about 10 cars under $10,000 that will still put a smile on your face. So for this list, I broke it down into basically three different groups from what I can see is the most common when people are looking for a cheap, sporty car. So broke it down into American cars, Japanese cars, and then the luxury, there's quotes around that, luxury cars, because you can't get really into too much of the luxury market with under $10,000, but here we go. So Starting out with number one, we have the Ford Mustang. The thing is, is that when choosing a Mustang under $10,000, you can get either the 99 to 04s, which I think look much better for the SN95. That's when they did the facelift and what they call the new edge. But for those, I wouldn't really get a V6. I'd get the V8 because if you're going back and looks a little bit, I'd step up the engine. Obviously, those sound amazing with the V8. I'm a big fan of those. But then if you want the newer look, those start at 05. So when you get into the 05 Mustangs, you can easily find a V6 for under $10,000. If you're lucky, you will be able to find a V8. I have seen them out there. So it does happen. If you look hard enough, you'll find a 2010 or newer one. That would be a V6. I highly doubt you'll be able to find a V8, one of those for under 10,000. They have the 3.7 V6, which has 300 horsepower. If you're trying to go fast in a Mustang, that's probably the one to go with because that one has 305 horsepower, but it'll weigh less than, say, an 07 GT. And the thing about Mustangs is that there's a huge platform for them. There's so many different styles you can go with. There's huge websites like AmericanMuscle.com, not a sponsored video, like AmericanMuscle.com that you can go to and they just have a giant selection of things that you can buy to customize your car so it'll look completely different from someone else's. Moving on to number two, we have the Dodge Charger. The years for these ones that you'll find for under 10 grand is 2006 to 2010. Those ones came with a 3.5 liter V6 with 250 horsepower. It's a decent amount of horsepower for that year V6, but you know, Dodge Boat. Obviously, it's not gonna be the fastest thing. If you can find a V8, that has 340 horsepower between those years, so it'll move a little better. It'll be definitely a cruiser, not a cornering car, but it'll sound nice. When you look at most of the Dodge Chargers between those years, most of them look like grandpa cars, I'm not going to lie. But with a little bit of love, I think any of them can look really mean. I especially like the orange Daytona ones. I love the burnt orange with the black accents. I just, I think that looks great. Number three, we have the 2010 to 2013 Camaro V6s. These have 304 horsepower. They're pretty fast and they can sound nice, but obviously that V6 won't have the same sound as a V8. Moving on to the JDM cars in this list, we are starting out with the 350Z. This has a 3.5 V6 with a decent amount of horsepower. They came with 300 and they're pretty light, fun cars to drive. They're fast, look good. If you can find one for under $10,000 and it's in good condition, it's kind of a steal. I would probably jump on that. The second JDM car we are going to talk about today is the Scion TC. Not overly popular, but I think they look all right, especially since you can get a lot of them, even the remodeled ones after 2010, for under $10,000 in good condition. They only came with an inline four engine, 180 horsepower for a pretty light car. That seems pretty good. The next selection in this list is actually two cars. I kind of cheated, but I put these two cars together because they're so similar. And it is the Hyundai Tiburon GT and the Toyota Celica. First, we're going to talk about the Tiburon. It came with both an inline four engine as well as a V6 engine. So if you like a V6, you definitely have to go with the Tiburon on this because the Toyota Celica only comes with inline four engines. 
Now, they both have the same types of power, similar 0 to 60 times, interior qualities, looks, price. It really just comes down to preference on this, but people are going to come at me and say, actually, the video should be 11 cars for under 10,000, but, you know, who cares? They can go together. And finally for JDM, it would be almost impossible to make this list without the Mazda Miata. Very minimalist car. Anybody who's driven one will probably tell you it's a ton of fun to drive and corner with. They may obviously be down on power, but they make up for that with how light they are and how much fun they are. And really the thing about the Miata is that it just doesn't care. It just wants to have fun on the road. And what doesn't look happier than this car? Now onto the luxury section. We are going to start out with the BMW 3 Series. The E46s were built between 97 and 2006. They came with both inline 4s as well as inline 6s between 103 and 235 horsepower. The E90s to 93s were built between 2004 and 2013. Those also came with inline 4 to inline 6 engines, but the power output on those went up to 268, which is not too bad when you're getting all that luxury. The thing about these 3 Series is that I've seen them hit very high miles, well into the 200,000s. You can easily choose between 4-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, automatic, manual, get any combination you want because they're so common on the market. If you're trying to get into the German luxury area, this is probably the cheapest way that you're going to be able to do it. The second luxury car that we're going to be talking about today is the Acura RSX. I probably could have put these into the JDM section, but I figured I'd put it here because it's a little bit higher up. These were built between 2002 and 2006, coming with inline four engines. Power outputs were between 160 and 210, which is not bad when you consider that this car was pretty light. And obviously, once you get on the gas, it's only a matter of time before that VTEC kicks in, and you've got power up into the 500 range. The third luxury car we're going to talk about, and the last one on this list, is the G37. These cars were built between 2008 and 2013. They're pretty popular when you're looking for sporty luxury. They had 3.7 liter V6 engines letting out 330 horsepower. Honorable mentions for this list are the C4 and C5 Corvettes as well as the Subaru WRX. I would have included them into the list. It's just hard to find them under $10,000. I've seen it happen and they've been in good condition, but I didn't figure it was common enough to be in this list. There are 10 sporty cars that you could take on the road for under $10,000 that will be a ton of fun to drive. Please subscribe to Liberty Drive for more videos like this as well as automotive news videos and leave a comment if you have any of these or looking at one, used to own one, or if you would add or take away from this list. Thanks, have a great day.